And welcome back. So looking at our time lapse, we started off the day with partly to mostly cloudy skies. We had some uh, rain showers before sunrise and going through the morning, we kept the clouds until we had another thunderstorm hit the North Platte area very briefly. This is around 1 p.m. And then as quickly as the rain moved in, they moved out. So did the clouds and we spent the rest of the afternoon with mostly sunny skies. A few more clouds on the horizon as we go through the evening, but we are staying dry. High temperature today did make it up to 87 degrees in North Platte, near 90 at Ogallala and Imperial, low to mid 80s, Broken Bow and Lexington, and lower 80s for highs out toward Thedford and Valentine. Current temperature, so we are still staying mild with those clouds that are making their way in. A little bit easterly wind is increasing the humidity too, so that keeps us mild with current temperatures in the low to mid 70s, with the exception of Ogallala, which is the warm spot at 78 degrees. There's your wind, still from an easterly direction, so there has been a good amount of moisture in the atmosphere through the week. Lots of clouds and we had those uh, rain showers move through uh, several times. So uh, we're eventually going to lose this easterly wind. Wind speeds between 5 and 15 miles per hour. We'll get back to a nice sunny and dry pattern as we go through the start of the weekend and especially by this time next week. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies for all of us. Some clouds across Cherry County and now some more clouds uh, getting into say the Arthur to uh, Ogallala, Grant Imperial uh, areas. But other than that, most of the uh, strong thunderstorms now are into the panhandle. We have some storms out, out here near Bridgeport, points off to the north, producing 40 mile per hour wind gusts and some heavy rain. It looks like they are coming towards us, but uh, the models say they are dissipating before they get here. Could skirt our western counties, though. So uh, if you're in our western counties, definitely be prepared for maybe another round of some uh, rain. But high pressure is working its way in. We're going to get rid of these uh, low pressure systems that have been giving us the rain recently. And that's going to be the story as we approach and then go through the weekend. So. The models have us at mostly clear to partly cloudy skies through the overnight. Should be dry with uh, low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. And then for the day tomorrow, we're going to keep that easterly wind, sunshine, and high temperatures near 90 degrees. You're going to see some showers and thunderstorms in the panhandle, but notice as we go through your Friday evening, they dissipate before getting to us. So we're going to say mainly dry through all of Friday, and everybody's going to be dry for the day on Saturday. Lots of sunshine. The wind finally flips around to a drier and hotter southerly winds, so we will be into the upper 90s, maybe some areas near 100 degrees as we start the weekend. So we're going to get rid of uh, the systems that we've had. Uh, we've been keeping uh, this low to our north. Now this high is going to push it out. Then we're going to get back to sunshine. There's your southerly wind replacing the easterly wind. This cold front does have to come through, so we'll keep another chance of some showers and thunderstorms Sunday through the day on Tuesday. But we're going to stay mainly dry now through Sunday night, so definitely enjoy that. It will be hot. Look at this really big ridge in the jet stream out there. So temperatures rising back through the 90s, maybe even some of us over 100. Thunderstorms to our north and to our west will get into our forecast area for the day, uh, say nighttime hours on Sunday, and then uh, we will uh, keep at least the chance of some showers and thunderstorms through the beginning of next week. 89 your high tomorrow and 98 on Saturday with the sunshine. 103 on Sunday before the storm chances in the evening. Uh, that'll break the heat back into the lower 90s Monday and Tuesday, partly cloudy with another slight chance of some rain showers or thunderstorms. And then there's your heat next week, mid 90s to near 100 with a good amount of sunshine as we stay dry for Wednesday and Thursday. Kent? It's been nice to get a little bit of a break from the heat that we saw earlier this week, though. Yeah, and also we've had several uh, rain bouts, right. so that's good, too. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. Well, most of the time when you donate blood, you don't know where it goes or who it goes to. Haley Wirth is one of those people it goes to, a seven-year-old who has spent the last couple years battling cancer. Her journey started in October of 2020.